HD Corrective Primer comes in 5 different colours to even out the skin tone and cover any imperfections you may have. Lily Extract and Hyaluronic Acid moisturises and smooths the skin. HD Corrective Primer improves application and prolongs life of makeup. Hey guys, it's Emma here from the Dairy Store and I'm your social media specialist for the store. And as you can tell by the title of this video, this is Do's and Don'ts of how to buy some makeup products. So, as you can tell, this side here is my do, so it's very well blended, really nice coverage. I've used the HD primer, so it's given me a really nice smooth finish. And then, of course, this side, there's nothing blended, it didn't use any brushes, it didn't color match. So, yeah, this is interesting. So if you want to see how, what, not, what not to do and what to do, then just keep watching. So in this video, I'm choosing to use the Green HD Primer as it's enriched with horse chestnut extract as it's going to strengthen my blood vessels and neutralise any redness that I might have as well as disguising any broken capillaries. It's perfect for dry skin and I just love the feel of it. So going in in my do side, we are just testing our foundation, making sure that it matches our neck really well, which it does. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put that on with our 38FS brush. It's going to smooth all over the skin really well because the primer we put down beforehand is going to do its job and smooth out the skin and make it look really flawless. On the don't side then, I didn't use any primer just to show you the difference. And I'm using my hand here to apply. Um, I know a lot of people still do this, but personally I find that it wastes a lot of product and it doesn't really go on smooth. Going in with my under eye concealer number 95, just buffing that all out in a triangle using my 4SS brush just to brighten up the under eye area. Staying on the do side, I'm going to set that now with 403 Eliminate Powder to give us a nice bright finish. Setting that face now with 15 Press Powder, notice that I haven't done this on the don't side, we're just going straight in here with our 75 bronzer. Not really giving the face any structure at all, just putting the bronzer all over the face this is a big don't. Going in on the do side, getting a little bronzer and just putting it in a shape of a three and then carving that out with a nice little contour with a uh, 515 Sculpt Powder. Going into the don't side, we're using 507 which is not my colour at all and using a smaller brush and creating a lot of lines, this is a big don't. This next, going in and choosing a lovely peachy tone. This will help with the redness that we had before. If we went down with something really dark like the 70 blusher on the don't side, you will see that the red will just come straight back and the green primer would have been pointless. So keeping that in mind guys, I'm just going to use a little bit of highlighter now on my do side. This is really going to complement our contour and give us a nice shine. Notice how I have not put anything on the don't side. Next I'm going to structure my brows with 16 brow gel, it's perfect for my hair colour. And then on the don't side, we're going to go really dark and use number 20 and doing it like block brow, this is not flattering for the face at all. Next, moving on to the eyes, I am going to use a light grey tone in the Cocoa Palette with my 48SS brush and I'm just carving that out and blending as we go along, especially if you have a 4SS brush you can just use one brush for blending and the other one for applying. Then doing the total opposite on the other side and not blending at all, we're just putting on one block colour. Next going in with 03 Cold Pencil and I'm putting that in the waterline on the dew side and then smoking it out with my little bullet brush. This will give us a lot more flattering eye as well. Then on the don't side, not even going in with the waterline, just putting it on very harshly and not blending it out, gives it a really, really hard look. Next, topping up the lips. Going in with the lip liner will help give your lips a little bit of structure and keep your lipstick on all day and as well as stopping it from bleeding. If you don't do this, your lips will just look flat and unfinished. So guys, that's my do and don'ts video for this week. Hope you enjoyed and don't forget to follow me on social media.